हेलो एवरी वन सो टूडे वी बिगिन्स विथ द प्रैक्टिकल ऑफ हेमिन क्रिस्टल इन द हिमेटोलॉजी लैब हिस्ट्री हेमिन वॉज फर्स्ट क्रिस्टलाइज आउट ऑफ द ब्लड इन एटीन फिफ्टी थ्री बाई लुडविक कैरोल टैकमैन टैकमैन डिस्कवर दैट ब्लड पिगमेंट्स कैन फॉर्म माइक्रोस्कोपिक क्रिस्टल्स थर्स क्रिस्टल्स ऑफ हेमिन आर ऑल्सो कॉल्ड टैकमैन क्रिस्टल्स हांस फिशर सिंथिसाइज हेमिन for which he was awarded the nobel prize in chemistry in 1930 what is hemin crystal when hemoglobin or dry blood is heated with a few drops of glacial acetic acid yellowish microscopic crystals are formed which are called hemin or tacmens crystals so what is hemin crystal when hemoglobin or dry blood is heated with a few drops of glacial acetic acid there will be the formation of yellowish microscopic crystals which are known as hemin or tacmens crystals which are the apparatus or which are the instruments we required for doing this practical of hemin crystal glass slides cover slips pricking apparatus which include cotton lancet and spirit glacial acetic acid burner or candle here we are going to use candle match box and compound microscope so all these are the instruments we required for doing the practical of this hemin crystal now we begins with the procedure part with proper aseptic precautions prick your finger and put a drop of your blood at the center of the glass slide as you are seeing in this photograph and let it dry so here we have to wait till the blood drop will dry now you have to scratch dried blood drop with pointed part of other glass slide and after that you have to collect pieces of dried blood with the cover slip as you are seeing in this video now you have to add one drop of glacial acetic acid over dried blood pieces put a cover slip over the mixture that means the mixture of glacial acetic acid with the dried blood pieces and move this slide on burner or the flame till you see air bubbles or vapors on or from the slide after that you will see this type of appearance of your slide now observe rhomboid shape hemin crystal on microscope under 10x or 45x lens so this is the rhomboid shape crystals you have to see under 10x or 45x lens so i have focused this slide on the 45x lens and whatever the crystals you are seeing these all are the hemin crystal and it looks like rhomboid shape in cases of human origin blood now interpretation if the blood is of the human origin then we are able to find the hemin crystal as rhomboidal plates with prisms often arranged in star shaped clusters with round edges if the blood is of rat origin then we are able to find hemin crystal which looks like narrow plates with varying width to needles blunt at both ends and if the blood is of guinea pig origin then we are able to find hemin crystal which looks like triangular plates often arranged in the form of squares now what is the importance of this practical in forensics to find out whether the blood is present in a stain or not if we find a red color stain on the cloth then how we are able to know whether the red color contains the blood 
or it's some other type of chemical then we are able to do the practical of hemin crystal and if we are able to find different shapes then we definitely say that the red color stain contains the blood as different species have different shapes of the hemin crystal it is useful to know whether the blood is of human origin or animal origin in blood stains so this is the importance of doing the practical of hemin crystal i hope via this presentation everyone able to understand how to do the practical of hemin crystal if you like this presentation please try to share it with your groups batch friends and colleagues